okay hello everyone so now we are going to discuss about how to measure current using this multimeter so this multimeter allows you to measure dc current ranging from 200 micro amperes up to 10 amperes so as in my previous video i've told you for 10 amperes you have to connect the red uh, lead in the 10 ampere dc jack for all the remaining measurements lower ones you can just keep it here and measure the current so let us start by measuring some current over here I have a DC supply over here which I'll increase to max and let us see what is the voltage I've set it to 20 volts right now I'm going to check the voltage over here and it's around almost 14 volts and <coughs> this is a 56 ohms resistance so, so how do you measure current so first of all whenever you are going to measure current and you are not sure always start from the highest range so first I am going to connect it on the 10 ampere DC one set it to 10 ampere DC and then connect the negative to the negative side and in case of measuring current the meter is in series so the current flows through the meter and then it shows so now I am going to connect this resistor over here and this side over here and you should be able to see some current flowing over here. so it's almost 190 200 milliampere current which is flowing so now you can see if I would have connected it on a lower range it is almost ranging to that which can be dangerous for your meter so be careful while measuring current always start from the higher range until unless you are very sure that the current is going to be lower then you can work on a lower range preferably always start on the higher range okay next we are going to see a current now this is a relay which is 6 volts 100 ohms so I'll first set the voltage this to say nearby 6 volts ok so this is almost so here we have around 6 volts so a 6 volt 100 ohms relay will technically consume around 60 milliamperes of current fine so now I'm going to connect this over here one point of the relay I hope you'll be able to notice the movement of the relay over here fine so this is connected and so the wire came out just a second okay so you can see it is oh, sorry a mistake so these things can happen be careful you have to set it on 200 milliamperes range and here you can see it is consuming around 55 milliamperes approximately so on approximately 6 volts the 100 Six, uh, 6 volt 100 ohms relay is consuming the expected current ok for the last part we are going to try out with an LED how much current a LED consumes so a standard LED can be driven from around 2 volts so I am going to again reduce this current to as low voltage as low as possible first let me set it again check the voltage that we are receiving over here okay so here we have around 4.7 volts now just to demonstrate I'm going to connect it 
for a short time LEDs are expected to be connected via a resistant cu resistance current limiting resistance so you can see the LED is glowing now if I continuously use the LED like this it will blow first of all so uh, the standard LED is the maximum current that can flow through them is around approximately 20 milliamperes so see what happens when you don't connect a current limiting <coughs> resistance on this so you can see it's almost like 90 milliamperes that's flowing through which is not going to be good for the health of the LED so I just have a small 10 ohms resistance over here and I'm going to connect it through this and you can see now the LED is drawing almost 20 milliamperes the expected current so that's all how to measure current you have to be just careful that you are on the correct range always start from the higher range and your meter has to be in series fine now again since it's a digital multimeter even if you do a reverse connection uh, it won't harm much the only thing is you're going to see the current negative but again it's best thing that you practice it in a correct manner. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.